Are you doing Oprah then, Jay? Now. <laughs> <laughs> now. Well, the opener is probably now going to be you saying that. Just work, children. How do you feel right now? I feel great. It must be any, it couldn't be any better than this, really. Sat with your family in the studio and watching my retirement video. Are you retiring? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever tell us about this? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk a lot about this on my second channel, but we've known this for, for a bit longer than this week, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, so I, it's. I've sort of. We've all processed the decision over the last sort of five months, really. Mum's crying already. Been... <laughs> like, <it's five laughs> I'm laughing. She's crying. I can see it. Right, are you in Troy in your vlog? Um. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Joanna Wilson and I'm sat here today with my family to discuss some breaking news, which is the man in the middle of us, Mr. Lyle Wilson, aka my brother, is retiring from gymnastics and we're about to all sit and watch for the first time his retirement vlog and generally just chat about Feeling. You've not seen this, yeah. have you? Seen no, we've this? not, not seen it. So we're, mm. so we're reacting to the video, aren't we, Jay? Yeah. That's why you invited us. Yeah. A reaction video. Yeah. Clues in the title. Yeah, yeah. I'll be watching this to the end of the video. I'm sure there's going to be lots of tears. Yes. Yeah. Got your tissues well, somewhere. Why are you at me? Well, uh, another high flying Yorkshire youngster is hoping for great things in the world of gymnastics. Yes, she's good. Look at me, baby. saying that because every single video from all these competitions you hold the camera and you're all right behind <laughs> it going come on Naya! Naya! come on and i actually remember was this the under 12s british i remember at this british championships right i was how, how old were you 11 11 so i was nine and when you when it got announced that you won the gold medal i was sat with all the the gym lot and ran around the arena well it wasn't arena ran around the sports hall to mum and dad and I just, I started crying. <laughs> and I was nine. And I don't know why. Finally, double double! And a Chinese in adjustment! What a performance! Well, I actually made it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> do you remember when I made you wear that top we do it? I'll never forgive you for that. Try again. Cheers, is that on it? Right. <laughs> Same look at your face. I did not want to wear that. We were on BBC TV in front of millions of people in a stupid, both of us in one t-shirt with our heads through it. Dream team number 10. Yeah, dream team. Listen, no, we were, this is like part of the, the Wilson brand of like yeah, viral, viral started, content. Didn't it? Yeah, this yeah. You took your top off as well. Yeah, I remember that. Dad took his top off and started swinging around his head in the crowd. Daily yeah, the Daily Mirror. Yeah, the Daily Mirror. This is like oh, starting our YouTube careers. <laughs> yeah, without even really realising it was by stealth, it wasn't deliberate, was it? It was just that body t-shirt. I said I'm just going to take the top off if he wins. <laughs> Saying there that I might compete again. Who knows? 
Oh, I just want to I know. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> How come you got you inside the information? I know the answer to that. What is it? We can't tell you. Well, you tell us. I've retired. <laughs> yeah, the answer's no. Right <laughs> now, it's not. Can I just say something? Yeah. If you think about this, I've said this before. So, for you, well, what's really weird about this, what's really surreal is, so you've got nine Commonwealth medals, five of them gold, you've been a European champion, you've got European gold medals, you've got a world silver medal, you've got an Olympic medal, you've got whatever the number is. I was counting it once upon a time. You've got 150 medals, 100 and however many from gold medals, all done by the age of 22. So, so if, you, if you think about that legacy in terms of medals, just talking about medals now, and that career, it's a sensational career for anybody at any age, isn't it? But it was done by the 22. What's surreal is, for me, this, this whole thing where we're sat at our age talking about our son's retirement at 24. And you know when you think about, about you know normalization yeah it's the grandparents isn't it the retire and then the parents retire and then the kids come on well you mean because we're still working well it's well, like yeah. when you retire, use the yeah. word retirement this concept behind that is like say for later life it's, totally. it's, that's why it's surreal because i'm 24. yeah obviously yeah. not retired from life no not retired from life <laughs> well, I, I did for a little bit just play golf every day think do, of do the you know, you've seen young... through your <laughs> Uh, Places you've been, I know you always yeah. used to say it's another airport, another gym. Well, I've had a mad life at 24. And it's only really, it only started when I was 18, so probably the last six years. It shows you. And the thing I'm saying I'm most proud of is actually none of that. Obviously, I am very, very proud of everything. You know, there's a lot of these medals behind us. They are just <laughs> memories, and they're, they're just objects collecting dust. Yeah. People find think they find fulfillment or happiness from money or an achievement or a thing. It's just kind of not not true. It's not true. Give it a give it a give. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your brief, reviewing it every day, and saying to yourself, "It's not over until I win." Make a declaration to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. Live your life now. Live your dreams now! I just want... I don't want to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to do more of that. Oh, that is so oh. sick, isn't it? Oh, okay, then don't so... put it out. <laughs> <laughs> Should we change our mind? Nah, no, I'm retiring. No, I hope. Yeah. You can always change your mind. True, man. Oh, it was mad. It was mad, wasn't it? I think it's on anything in life as well, it was always a quick one. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how I did it. You know, like when you watch all of that, for me, surreal people watching it, and probably for you guys, it's like, wow, being in front of all those people at the, the moment. When I watch back now, sat here, and I've not really sort of had a taste of that for a long time, you know. You, yeah. When you when you're in it, it just feels normal. I was gonna say when you sit here, it as well. When you we... sit here, it's not. It's really not. And then thinking about standing under a steel bar now in front of twenty thousand people and having to do those those skills that I did, I don't know how I did it. We normalised it too <laughs> though. I speak to I speak to strangers who say they come and saw you at the British Championships and this, that and the other and I just remember us at the time being in a freaking Premier Inn all sharing a room and just getting up and me filming you on a little Sony camera and it just, it was just normal wasn't it? But then when you're in the middle of it and athletes are all this, you don't think, you just do, it's not a big moment, it's, you know, it's just another routine, it's just another routine and then all the time now as an athlete it's just what's next, what's next, what's the next major comp, what's the next major comp, and, then, and you never really sit down and just Agreed. go soak it in, you don't take yeah. it in, you're not present. Like all the time now, the last two years have just been pain. I thought it was going to continue. I thought I was going to be an Olympic champion. It was, going to, it was never going to end. And then the, what I'd give probably now to go back to just feel what that felt like again. And that's a really good message, just be present. Just, this, you always tell me it's so hard to stay in the moment. No matter what, where you're at, whatever you're doing, it's so hard to stay in the moment. I lived it and I loved it. But I just Now knowing that you can't taste it anymore and you can't get it again, just like you said in the past, I just wish I'd relished it a bit more. Right, there you go. Oh, I can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your face, Mum. Seriously, why are you crying? I'm just being a blast. <laughs> I'm immensely proud of him. It were all worth it, wasn't it? No, I'm starting, I can't stop. <laughs> we'll, never, we'll never ever experience what going to a... Like, we'd like to say we normalised it. Going to a Commonwealth Games, Olympic a European games. Championship Olympics game was very normal. I'll go to gymnastics competitions again, though. Yeah, I will support them, but... 
It won't be the same as me doing it. Will no, it? of course not. Well, I really enjoyed that. Well, yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you, guys. I'm love proud. you, mum. Love you, Jade. Love you, dad. Love I'm you, proud mom. to call you my brother. I'm proud to call you my sister. Thanks. I love you, you unconditionally. Love you, Daddy, you're gonna join the hug. You're gonna enjoy the video, yeah. Yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I'll let you know um, if my mum stops crying <laughs> by the next video. Um, <laughs> big shout out to Niall. <laughs> we love you so much. Love you. We're so proud of you. Like and subscribe, yeah. Keep smashing it, everyone. Subscribe to Joanna. She's the next YouTube sensation. Remember, anything is possible if you. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh dear.